What's up, stoners? Welcome to another local band. Smoking up your host is High Most BG, and today we're doing In Retrospect's EP review. If you've never seen an EP review before by me or an album review, I've actually already listened to the entire thing. I've got all my notes here, and I'm going to break down song by song all the way to the end. We do about like a minute to a minute and a half snippets of the songs. Um, it's not the whole song. That'd be boring if you're just sitting there on camera watching me smoke for 30 minutes. Plus, that's a fucking lot of weed, and I'd be crispy as a motherfucker, but um, basically the, the goal is if you enjoy what you're hearing, you go and get the EP for yourself and support them. Uh, but in retrospects from Wichita, Kansas, their five-piece band listed as Hybrid Rock. Facebook.com slash in retrospect I-C-T. If you like what you're about to hear, definitely like that page. And um, we do this, we kind of break it up in two different parts. So I'm going to do the first four songs and then I'm going to pause for a little bit and come back and do the, the last two, and then we do the album assessment. But before we get started, excuse me, the EP assessment, before we get started, we must do the sponsors real fast. Youngblood Productions, Hex Elzier Designs, Cali Care Group, Boost, aka Integra Products, Dirty Radio, Octave Studios, and Vape Out, located in Big Bear in Apple Valley, California. Use code LBS15, it'll take 15% off your purchase. All right, in retrospect, EP review. The first song is going to be called Constellations. Uh, it's the opening track. It's got some really cool effects going on in the opening vocal. Vocally, it's almost like he's rapping a lot in this song to me. Um, the hook has a very rock blues-ish kind of feel to it. Nice little solo. And then it has a really cool solo at the end of the song as well. Uh, but let's start it off with Constellations. Spark it up you got. Run, run, run As fast as you can The farther Constellations from In Retrospect. <coughs> These guys are from Wichita, Kansas. Track two is going to be Mojo. It's got a kind of a cool drum beat in the beginning. Uh, cool hook that gets really catchy at parts. Uh, one thing that stands out though is the drumming. Was this recorded to a click track? Because there's some weird rolls and fills to me that I noticed. Um, but I do really like the gang vocal part that's going on. So this is going to be track two. Mojo. Let's cue it up. And here we go.
Track two, Mojo. Track three is going to be One Step Away. It's got a good fast pace in the beginning. It has kind of a punk influence to it overall, I would say, but probably my favorite track so far on the EP. It's got a really cool, funky bass and guitar solo that happens near the end. They just get down right at the end of the song. One Step Away is going to be track three. Track three, and we're ready. Here we go. Track three, One Step Away. Track four is going to be called Phoenix. Another punk influence song on the initial guitar riffs. Um, my other favorite song on the EP so far. Got a catchy hook. Best solo yet. Melodies on the hook are great. Uh, there's a cool part that, that kind of gets groovy. Cool break part that gets really groovy uh, at a certain point in the song too. Track four, Phoenix. And then we're taking a short break after that. Track four, Phoenix. <laughs> I'm high. <laughs> and uh, we're listening to In Retrospect. This is their EP review. They're from Wichita, Kansas. Facebook.com says In Retrospect I C T. It'll be right back shortly. All right, and we're back with the In Retrospect EP review. Facebook.com says In Retrospect I C T. They're from Wichita, Kansas. And we're up to track five. It's called Selfish. Uh, this track has kind of like a really big grunge influence to me, um, instrumentally. I like the guitar riffs a lot in this one. Uh, it's probably the best lyrical song I've thought so far up to this point. And it's got yet another sweet solo. Track 5, Selfish. Check it out.
selfish. <clears throat> All right, so we're up to track six, which is called Rain Dead. It's actually the outro song. The song has kind of like a different feel than the rest of the other songs up to this point, uh, initially. It's got some really cool uh, melodic guitar parts that happen. There's like a sweet spoken word kind of section where everything kind of changes. And then there's a great, it a, has like a great way to outro basically the song and the EP being its last song. But it's like a, it ends really cool, I guess you'd say. But yeah, there's a really cool like melodic uh, guitar section going on. Rain Dead, track six. Check it out. And here we go. I paint pictures on my floor With a tear she cried Watching memories of our love Turns ashes in the sky Daylight's burned into my mind And of all she's taken Let my In retrospect, at Wichita, Kansas, that's the whole EP right there. Facebook.com slash in retrospect ICT. Kind of do some like pros and cons, save my favorite songs, and then give a final score. Uh, with the cons, let's go with the cons first. Some of those drums on this EP were really strange to me. I know I mentioned the click track thing earlier. Some of the snare sounds and kick drum sounds sounded odd, and some of the rolls did. I'm not really sure what was going on there. Um, I thought the recording on that portion of it just could have been done a little bit better. Pros, really not too shabby overall if you take apart just that, that drum part. The rest of it is actually decent for first recording. Some some, pre some pretty great solos throughout the entire EP. The bass sounds fantastic on a lot of songs. Um, and some of the melodies are really, really catchy by the, uh, the singer, um, as well as some of the guitar sections. My favorite songs were Phoenix, One Step Away, and Constellations. Although I did kind of like Rain Dead too because it was a very different track than the rest of the EP. But I'm going to go 7.4 out of 10, mainly because of what I mentioned earlier. But other than that, I appreciate you guys doing this. I have fun whenever I do this. It's a good way to like just break down someone's entire recording. And just I'm just honest. I, I, you know, I'm, I hope that you guys don't take it to heart and are like bummed by a score if you feel it's low or something like that. But other than that, I had a great time, man. Facebook.com says in retrospect ICT. Please go like their page, show them some support. And if you get a chance to see them live in the Wichita, Kansas area, please do tell them you saw them at, on local band Smoke Out. If you're interested in me doing this for your band or just in general doing an episode of just one song, hit me up. Facebook.com slash local band Smoke Out. Just so make sure you like the page and watch the video. Auto plays at the very, very top. I've got these crazy ass glasses on in that video. Watch that video, It'll explain everything you need to know to submit correctly and or skip the waiting list and or get an hour EP review done. Other than that, I'm on Instagram, Masterworks, YouTube, Twitter, and Snapchat. Cheers, keep blazing, and peace.